Hi and welcome back to a quick tips video. Before I start, uh, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you like what I'm doing, go to my channel and check out some of the other videos. There's loads of uh, tips and um, there's courses and stuff. Anyway, let's get on with this then. So here's three ways that I time stretch. And first one is the obviously easiest one, which is to just go over the bottom right hand side and then hold down out and pull across to where you want to go. So if you go across like that, then it will time stretch like so. Now to the um, to a different tempo, obviously. So I've now time stretched that. Um, it's going to be slower. Now go Control Z, come out of that. Now you might have noticed that I've. Um, bounced in place the apple loops that I had from the last tutorial. The reason I've done that is because you can't time stretch an apple loop because it's already got a function where it time stretches to your tempo. So you can't time stretch that as a as a as a file from Apple Loops. But um, any other um, audio that you import from outside of Apple Loops you can time stretch. So that's one way of doing it. Then there's another way that I used to do back in the day from Logic five days, which was I find the quality seems to be better is if you go into time machine. So I go to file, then functions, time machine, time and pitch machine here. And you've got this window here where you've got your, your original tempo and your destination tempo. So you have to have your project, your session at the tempo here. Uh, the original tempo and then what you need to do is then select the tempo where you want to go here so let's go down to 120 and then you hit process and paste and that will bring it down to 120 okay well i don't need to do that because it will just go to 120 and then i just have to go back so that's how you do that that's quite easy as well then there's the flex here so if you open up flex and you select say slicing because it's drums and then once it's analyzed, which is quite quick, you can just bring down your tempo and that will then write down, say, to. Or write up. A bit of drum and bass there. And then once you're happy, I would suggest bouncing in place and then taking the flex off because sometimes that can, if you've got a lot of tracks that are flexed, it can, it can be heavy on your CPU. So once, you, once you're happy, you can bounce that in place. So go back to 135 and then you can just come out of flex, unflex it, and then you're back to normal. So there you have my three ways of uh, time stretching and um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, like, subscribe, and I will see you soon. Ciao.